You spend more time on Dota than you spend on me. But I need to train to become the best. But there's no such thing as gaming as a career in Singapore. True. But your dream might come true someday. <laughs> How did we get here? Even though we hosted the very prestigious World Cyber Games, it was held in the center of Funan IT Mall. Funan IT Mall! What happened to giving foreigners a good impression of Singapore? What happened to an appropriate location? Imagine if we had a Ministry of Gaming, a one-stop place for gaming competitions, gaming software and hardware, gaming courses, and even talks for parents of gamers to help them understand and clear any doubts or misconceptions about gaming. As a real-life metaphor of the gaming hierarchy system, we have decided on a pyramid-shaped building for the Ministry of Gaming. As you can see, beginners will start playing from the bottom and work their way up to the top. Each zone will have specific privileges that cater to the particular group of gamers. Each zone will also include different areas for consoles such as Xbox and PlayStation and PC games. The ground and basement levels will be where the F&B outlets, retail outlets and lecture theatres are. The state-of-the-art gaming arena is at the top level and is where gaming competitions can potentially be held. Gamers at the Ministry can register an account. For each match played at the Ministry for a particular game, they gain points. Points can be exchanged for in-game titles and real-life rewards. Player identities can be verified by issued identity cards. New players can familiarize themselves and move up to intermediate whenever they please. The top 10% of players for a game will also achieve a minimum number of points and become professionals. Higher ranks and higher points means more unlocked rewards, in-game titles, prestige and more. This creates a competitive gaming system for gamers, whereby this system can be regulated by a new body. As for the retail aspect of the Ministry of Gaming, we plan to have F&B outlets such as food courts, fast food outlets and convenience stores. Also, we plan to have both software as well as hardware shops. As for the courses that will be available at the Ministry of Gaming, we also plan to have parental courses as well as gaming courses. As for the limitations of our idea, games might lose popularity as time passes. However, in order to effectively phase out the less popular games, we plan to hold a final competition for that particular game, and the winner of that competition will attain a special title and be archived. As for the future possibilities, if gaming dies out, the Ministry of Gaming can potentially be used as a training facility for workers, due to the fact that the facilities available are very appropriate and very useful, such as high-end computers and lecture theatres. Go to the Ministry of Gaming now!